What's up guys? It's windy today, so probably gonna be a lot of voiceover stuff. I'm down on the Pamlico. I'm looking for six inch finger mullet. So first thing I gotta do is catch some bait. It's gonna be a good one, stay tuned. All right guys, if you're going Carolina rigging, you have to have bait. I always prefer live bait, but fresh cut bait can work also. Shrimp is good, blue crab is phenomenal. Today I'm catching these four to five inch finger mullet. Really good bait. Today is an ideal day to Carolina rig. It's windy, the water is dirty, casting soft plastic today would be frustrating. My rig is not special or unique, barrel swivel, bead to protect the knot, three quarter ounce egg weight, this is pretty standard. The rest of the rig from the barrel swivel to the hook is where you can mess up. I use circle hooks on my Carolina rigs. The fish basically hooks himself and it's always right in the corner of the mouth. Not setting the hook has taken some getting used to over the years, but you really can't do it with a circle hook. You'll pull the hook right out of his mouth. hook in the corner of the mouth perfect if that leader looks heavy that's because it's 40 pound mono i'm going to get away with as heavy a leader as i think i can dirty water overcast depth of three feet or greater in the pamlico sound yeah you can get away with some leader and also it's getting into late summer i mean i could hook a big redfish any minute i'm just not going to be out there carolina rigging with 20 pound fluorocarbon This trout hooks himself. You just want to get pressure on the fish as soon as you can. If this had been a straight J hook, he more than likely would have swallowed it and I would have probably had to kill this fish. But notice the hook placement on this fish. Perfect. So, I mean, as you can see, the Carolina rig just delivered all afternoon. The circle hook, perfect placement on every fish. Some of these trout uh, actually stayed on the hook. I, I didn't even know they were on there, so they were out there swimming around. And you can see I got them just in the lip, barely. There's a nice hook placement right there. Um, that circle hook doesn't let you down. I mean, it's going to hook fish. Once you learn to fish that thing, you'll have a hard time going back to any other kind of hook. This next fish, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 
when I'm bringing them in, he coughs up a croaker, which I'm gonna to show to you in just a second. Croaker, by the way, are great baits for Carolina rig. They're not as hardy as um, mullet, but trout love them. Everything loves croaker. If you guys can get your hands on croaker, fish them. Check this one out, guys. Hooked himself. Just pick up the rod and reel him in. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. And this is great to do with kids, too. If you've got kids, um, you know, they, they don't have a long attention span. And you can just put the rod in the rod holder. And when it bends over, just holler at them to pick it up. And they'll have a ball. Well, guys, this video was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section down there. And I will answer your questions. And I uh, hope you subscribe to my channel if you found this useful. And start doing some Carolina rigging, guys. It's very effective. Thanks for watching.